Everybody. My name is Jessica Holyfield and I am a dance educator, dance analyst, and dance choreographer based out of the southeast of the United States. Now some of you who follow me are like, Jessica, that is a different intro than you normally do. You are correct. Since I've done YouTube, and I've been doing it for quite some time now, I kind of feel like I um, really wanted to tailor my particular scope when I do my intros uh, to be more fitting for um, what I actually talk about on YouTube specifically. Yes, I have done professional dance work, please don't get me wrong, but my scope and what I talk about mostly stems from a choreographic lens or from an analytical lens with the fundamentals of movement. So please forgive me if you were vibing with my intro that I've had before, but I, I, like, I like what's going on now. But we're not here for that. We're here for this. ATs, everything official music video. Very excited for this. Definitely looking forward to seeing what this is gonna look like. If there is not a basketball or a basketball court on fire, I will, um, I will be deeply disappointed, but I feel like that is going to be happening in this music video. Why? Because I understand what is going on in the lore side of things to a certain extent with these B-side releases. Because up until this point, the first three, I did not know as much as I know now in terms of the lore or the Easter eggs that were appearing in the music videos. So I hope I can find more things in this one that I did in the other ones. <laughs> so I think all that is left is to take a look at this. I know this is Zhang Ho. It's gonna be a vibe. Let's watch it. the basketball court on fire. <sighs> I know some people are going to be really excited to hear this live.
I do have some thoughts about, um, this is just, you know, my own personal perspective. It's nothing, this has nothing to do with dance. Um, yes to everything being on fire. Now, I'm very, I'm very happy that we have our basketball court on fire. I got what I wanted. <laughs> That's our little Easter egg from that diary film. Because everybody else had some. But the connotation for this one, it felt like it was more so, like, all of the happy places where he experienced happiness with um, with this woman are now caught in flames. Uh, so arson has taken place. Totally understand that, but I do know in the diary film, it is because he had an injury, right? Like, that's what it was giving, that energy. And I know there was probably more to that. And the members do have their own individual, like, perspectives in these things, too. So I'm curious about if this is a real-life experience, things like that. There's really only one thing I do want to talk about, besides the beauty of things being on fire. I mean, I feel like it, it, was, it was only fitting, because that was the thing about the um about that diary film that I was like okay if we're gonna have Jong Ho I need something on fire that's related to basketball and we have it uh very happy now something I've just noticed you notice how many times she walked away from a conversation I don't know what they were specifically talking about right like was it a particular thing that would just bother her? Or is she a flight person in a fight or flight situation? And I would have, you know, things to say about it regardless. For me, it, it just gives an appearance. And y'all y'all let me know, discussion-wise, when you see somebody that, you know, he's like, talk to me. And she's like, no, I don't want to talk to you. But she does that in, like, every location. For me, it feels like this is kind of like she's an avoidant type of person. She avoids... Or she says what she wants to say, and then she, like, moves on and she doesn't want to talk to him. Or also sometimes, maybe depending on this, he doesn't want to bring something up. He's like, I don't want to talk about it. And then she's frustrated and needs a moment because she's like, I'm trying to get through to you, and you're not wanting to open up to me. So, like, it could be a mix of that. Let me see. Let me see. I was on top. I'm using, um, two of my tongue, I'm using this song. I know you're my everything. If only I could turn back time. If only I could see you once more. If only I could, then I'd be sure to tell you that you're my entire reason for living. Now, as somebody who um, is alive, as most of you, I'm assuming most if not all of you who are watching this are also alive, um, if you base your entire reason for living, of course, I know this is metaphorical, but if you base your entire reason for living on an individual, they are going to fall short and fail. <laughs> so they're going to fail you. And, uh, and that's not a really, that's not a really great way to base your living off of is for one person. Um, but I do know that's mere metaphorical. I do know that's not what he actually means. I totally get it. I'm trying to run back to you because he's, you know, he's still alive and he's not with her anymore. I will never forget about you. Even for a second, I give the song to you. You're my everything. If only I could convey my feelings. If I could meet you once again, you were everything to me. If only I can convey my feelings. Maybe that gives me the indication of maybe he had feelings. and he, Like, he does have feelings, of course. But he didn't know how to express them. And she did feel very sad, you know. And he's like... It does feel like he wants to, you know, have a conversation. And she's very much like, no. But also it could be she's trying to have conversation with him. Because we have all this happiness you know, yay, joy, but then you see kind of the turmoil within these scenarios, you know, great masking effect in general, um, you know, in the hallway, and then down in, you know, on the couch, we're having arguments, I mean, you can have arguments anywhere and everywhere, trust me, but, um, I'm saying, though, like, how she's leaving the conference, she leaves, like, every time, you know, and I think that's the one thing that caught me off guard. I'm like, girl, you're leaving like every time things get tough in a conversation. You know, for me, I feel like sometimes it is good to to sit and like be in those feelings with someone, you know, and and unless she says like some mean stuff, I don't know. Remember, we're all we're just projecting here at this point. I'm just I'm treating it like a somebody who's in the lore a little bit more now. I'm coming at it from that lens than actually talking about any fundamentals because th there's none here. It's just more vocals and my my scope in that. I mean, I've done I've done some vocal competitions. I've done vocal training, but. I'm not a professional at it by any means. Consider me a very, very established layman in the musical field for that. But, um, yeah, this makes me very happy. Even though this is supposed to be sad, I'm very happy that I caught the lore enough to have an expectation and it be met. So, yay for things on fire. This was fun. I mean, I really love, I love his 
tone on this and we all know this boy is going to be singing this mess live so i do know when they go on tour probably next month right very soon the time we're making this it's going to be pretty good so i'm definitely looking forward to that i'm looking forward to hearing the discussions for this on what other underlying things i missed because of course i'm not like in in the lore but i am enough to establish there are two worlds I understand there's a whole spin-off world, Halazia. I understand the Easter eggs that I see in music videos. I find that a lot easier than the underlying, like, read between the lines stuff. But that's something that you guys can continue to help me with. But I like this. This was great. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. If you want to uh, watch me approach a dance analysis with AT specifically, I did an entire marathon going through and looking at their movement quality and figuring out, like, what are some things that we can expect to see growth-wise from them and then seeing them to where they are now. It's just such an amazing journey to look at, and it was really fun to, to see. And um, I'm definitely excited to continue on my, on my ride with AT. I know they got a Japanese release coming out soon, which means... The Japanese analysis will be coming out as well for those of you who have been waiting just patiently on YouTube for whatever I cook up. Um, so that'll be really fun. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys once again for watching and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye!